there's one pair of shoes that every man should own and every man wants. Today, I want to talk about the intersecting point of American fashion, European fashion, and Asian fashion. Penny loafers gained this initial popularity in America and even till now, even today, a lot of Americans love it as office casual shoes. If you were to ask and look at any fashionable men's wardrobe, they are going to have something like this. So the question is, how did this pair reach the Japanese fashion industry? From 1940s to 60s, Japan really admired America about like how rich they are and how prosperous the entire nation is. From that, Japan developed their own interpretation of American fashion, which is what we know today as Ivy looks, preppy looks, American casual, workwear, and penny loafers became a staple in Japanese fashion as well because they are inspired about the American casual look. So everything they wore, they kind of went with this, like Ivy look, American casual, workwear. As I mentioned, all of those outfits can easily be built with a penny loafer. As we all know, there are many different types of shoes, but why are penny loafers so loved? First of all, they're convenient. There are no laces, so all you have to do is slip in your feet and that's about it, and your ankle's really free. So as you love penny loafers, you'll slowly find yourself loving the fact that your ankle's free and you don't have any like restrictions or any leather around your ankle. Secondly, it's easy to style. As I've shown you, you can style with American casual, you can style with workwear, city boy, preppy look, anything. You can basically make any outfits with these. And one of the things that I really love is you can emphasize your socks color and that itself can be the accent color of your outfit. And lastly, it's a classic. You won't get bored of the design just because it's been around since like 1950s or 40s. So we've been wearing it for like what, 70 years? So no one's gonna be like, yo, that's out of trend. When it comes to the look itself, these are less preppier than the Gucci horsebit loafers. However, if you want more of a casual loafer, penny loafer is a way to go. And since it's constantly loved by the fashion industry, just by wearing these, like just by having nice penny loafers, people will get an impression of like, oh yo, that guy cares about his looks. And lastly, I assume people might ask horsebit loafer versus penny loafers. So horsebit loafers are more formal, they're more dressy, and penny loafers are more casual, as you can see. And the final question comes, how do you select the right penny loafer? Three things that I just mentioned about penny loafers is basically the fundamentals, the comfort, and the amount of ways that you can style and the sustainability. The most crucial decision factor for me is the elegance when you wear it. It's gotta feel like your shoes. I always think that's super important and the quality has to match your wardrobe. So, Officina Creative, they sent me this gift, the loafers, and a lot of other stuff which will come in the later reviews. And I'll be wearing these for about two to three weeks, almost all day long, and see how it fits. The initial impression and the things that I can see right off the bat, let me bring the camera right off the bat, what I see is that the leather is really nice. It's got like the airbrush finish. So from the bottom to the top, it's got a really gradient finish. And the leather is also scratched from the start. That's a pretty nice detail. It's kind of like how everything we prefer is kind of vintage and used. And one of the cool things that I noticed is that they actually tailored it to your bone shape. So I'm not sure if you can see it in the, in the video, but here it's kind of extruded so that it fits the toe bone. And then the last detail, bullet on the bottom, bullet in the bottom sole, leather sole. And yeah, so I'll be wearing this and see how it basically feels on my feet because I haven't worn it. I'm excited to go out. And then after that, I will basically do another review, which is going to be in this video, probably 10 seconds for you, but two to three weeks for me. I will do that. Let's see. First week as expected, the uh, bottom is super slippery. All leather shoes, they have this problem. So I used to, I always like just rub it on the asphalt pavement. So yeah. I'm on my way out so this is after maybe like 20 minutes of walking my soul became like that and now it's super comfortable to walk it's got more traction so i don't slip all right so two weeks have passed in my time not yours but anyway uh i've probably worn these for maybe 10 outings so probably at least like 40 hours of wear and this is how the shoes have turned out Pretty nice. What I really like about is this like creasing detail. So when you look at the creasing here, it actually resembles my toe line. I'm not sure if the video will actually capture it, but it does capture my toe line. This is something that I really loved about these. It's kind of like creating my own vintage and it molds into my feet shape. So as you can see, so here, as you can see, the leather creasing is super evident. And that 
is how it looks after two weeks of wear. I did scuff it a lot. So if you see this back here, and then if you also see the front, side everywhere I, I did scuff a lot and in terms of the sizing so le let me answer your question so first of all sizing how should you go about this i usually wear 39 i have 39 in these and it felt slightly big and for loafers i do recommend sizing down so that it better molds into your feet shape you might feel discomfort for like maybe two to three weeks but if you size down and actually mold it into your feet shape you will probably have higher satisfaction and in terms of the comfort i didn't have any like discomfort with these i've been wearing it for a long time as i've mentioned and the bottom sole here is actually got some cushion lined inside so that's pretty nice detail and the grip as leather bottoms they do lack some grip especially on like epoxy ceramic or like the tile surfaces however other than those it's got really nice grip so as you can see there's some rubber at the back and then this leather worn for like 10 days so you can see that the leather sole actually became a bit rougher and this is what you actually want like when you're wearing leather soles just ruin it because that's what it's supposed to be and if you actually fully ruin it you can replace it you can get it to a cobbler get a really nice bottom that's that's basically how leather shoes should be worn and lastly in terms of color recommendations the dark brown is always nice and then the suede like the light brown suede the tan suede those are also nice and then the black those are classic so dark brown and light brown as it gets lighter i would say it becomes more casual and then the fully black one it is really formal like compared to these ones and the light tan ones those were my thoughts after wearing these for two weeks if you ask me would i recommend these yeah i I feel like I would wear this a lot, especially during summer, spring, summer, and even fall, like fall. These dark brown leather shoes are really nice for fall. So yeah, I would definitely recommend it because the quality and the price point is actually really reasonable. Like, can you find better pair than these? Obviously, yes. However, those are going to be more expensive. But at the same time, if you go cheaper, it's not going to be as high quality as this one. So if you were looking for somewhat of like $600 to $500 margin, I would definitely recommend these. So that's it for my review today. Thank you for watching and see you in my other videos. Bye. Actually, bye.